let us see a few more examples on the unitary method and in this case the example says that Raju purchases 10 pence for 150 and Manish buys 7 pence for 84 who bought the pence cheaper now analyze this problem so we know that two persons have purchased pens different units of pens for some prices we want to find out who bought the pens cheaper the only way I can do it and it's a simpler way is if I can find out the cost per pen for each person and then we can compare the cost and tell who bought it cheaper so essentially again we apply the unitary method to find the cost of one pen for both Raju and Manish and then we compare both of them so let us start with Raju Raju for Raju right 10 pens cost 150 therefore one pen cost to him 150 by 10 which is 15 right this is the cost of one pen for Raju now let us see what is the cost of one pen for Manish so for Manish seven pens cost him 84 therefore one pen cost for him would be 84 by 7 so when I divide 7 by 84 the resultant price is 12 therefore cost of one pen for Manish is 12 rupees now straight away for Raju it is 15 whereas for Manish it is 12 therefore Manish bought the pens cheaper So this is an example where we have used unitary method the cost per pen to compare who got the cheaper pens or who bought cheaper pens let's look at one more example we are told that the weight of 72 books is 9 kg what is the weight of 40 such books so what it says here is that 72 books weigh 9 kg how much will 40 such books weigh so in this case we know the number of books but we don't know the weight of these books so again we apply the unitary method wherein we say that the cost of 72 books sorry the weight of 72 books weigh 9 kg therefore one book weighs 9 kg by 72 or it is 1 by 8 kg 1 eighth of an kg now with, since we know the weight of one book it is easy for us to find out the weight of 40 books we simply multiply 40 by the weight of one book so 40 books weigh how much the cost uh, the weight of one book which is 1 by 8 kg multiplied by 40 books so or 8 times 5 so therefore we have 5 kg so 40 such books will weigh 5 kg another application of unitary method and then this is the last problem in this chapter 
says that cost of four dozen bananas is rupees 60 how many bananas can I purchase for 12.5 so what it means is first of all we have four dozen bananas right so we say that rupees 60 can buy four dozen bananas therefore we are supposed to find out rupees 12.5 can buy how many bananas we just don't know we have to find that out so we need to find out how much one rupee can buy but before we do that we are given here four dozen bananas now one dozen means 12 so one dozen bananas means 12 bananas so four dozen is 12 by 4 12 multiplied by 4 which is 48 so we can say that rupees 60 can buy 48 bananas therefore rupees 1 can buy how many bananas can buy 48 by 60 or 4 by 5 bananas 1 rupee can buy 4 by 5th of a banana now rupees 12.5 12.5 can buy how many bananas it is simply the no amount of bananas that rupees 1 can buy multiplied by 12.5 so 4 by 5 bananas into 12.5 now to make the thing simpler what we can do is multiply both the numerator and denominator by 10 so we get 4 into 12.5 into 10 divided by 5 into 10 so this 12.5 into 10 becomes 125 so 125 into 4 by 50 or if we simplify it further we have so this okay let's just write it over here 125 into 4 by 50 now we can see that these could be divided by 25 so 25 times 2 is 50 and 25 times 5 is 125 and then again I can divide this by 2 so 5 times 2 is 10 bananas therefore 12.5 rupees can buy 10 bananas so with this we conclude our chapter on ratio and proportion